Hello guys, grade 7, chapter 8, earthquake, there are two sections, section 1 is, uh, what is earthquake, section 2, earthquake measurement, alright, what is earthquake, students, earthquake often cause dramatic change at the earth's surface, at the cross surface of earth, earthquakes, can cause huge wave of in the ocean called tsunami. Earthquake can happen in any kind of weather. It can happen winter, summer, or any season. Earthquake can destroy city. Earthquake can kill human being or animals, even destroy plants. Earthquake happen every day, but we cannot feel most of them. So even maybe. Earthquake happen, but we cannot feel them. Really. Objective of earthquake, students. We are going to learn those objectives. Explain where earthquake take place. Explain what cause earthquakes. Ident identify three type of fault that occur at cave boundaries. Describe how energy from earthquake travel through the earth surface. Or earth crust. An earthquake is the shaking and vibration of of the earth's crust due tectonic plate or movement of plate or movement of crust. Seismology or seismology is is the study of earthquake. Where do earthquake happen? Most of earthquakes take place near the edge. Of tectonic plate. Tectonic plate move in different direction at different speed. They can collide, divide, and also slide past each other. Past each other. That means move horizontally. As a result of this movement, called fall exists in the earth crust. As you see the the red color here. There are uh, point of uh, earth. Earth happened in those red point mostly. The largest and most active earth zone lies along the plate boundary surrounding the Pacific Ocean. A fault is a break in the earth's crust along which block of crust slide relative to one another. Earthquakes occur when a long fault because of the disliding. What caused earthquake? As tectonic plate, tectonic plate push, pull or slip past each other. That means move horizontally. Stress increase a long fault, a long fault near the plate edge. In response to this stress, rock the plate deform that means destroy the cross they destroyed the deformation is the change the shape of rock or shape of the cross to stress plastic deformation which is shown figure two does not lead to earthquake elastic deformation however does the lead earthquake Rock can stretch further without breaking than steel can, but the rock will break at the same point. Elastic rebound. The sudden return of elastically deformed rock, its original shape is called elastic rebound. During the elastic rebound, energy released. Some of these energy travel as a seismic wave. This seismic wave caused an earthquake as shown figure 3. That means shape 3. Let us check shape 3. Here, before earthquake and after earthquake, as you see here. Before earthquake, tectonic forces pull, push rock on either side of uh, the fault in opposite direction. But if there is no enough force to move. The rock 
is locked together and does not move, the rock deforms in elastic manner. So there is no what? There is no earthquake. Because why? The crust layer, the part of crust is not moved. So there is no earthquake. What about earthquake here? When those layer moves, when this layer move, what happens? When the stress is increased, a certain limit rock slips along the fault and increase energy. So here, as you see, the crust layer moves horizontally and cause earthquake. Seismology, the study of earthquakes, the formation, the bending, tilting, and breaking of the earth crust, the change in the shape of rock in response to stress, elastic rebound, sudden return of elastically deformed rock it's under undeformed shape fault at tectonic plate boundary a specific, specific type of pla plate motion takes place at the different tectonic boundary there are three kind of boundary as you know diverging convergent uh, and movement boundaries each type of motion create a particle kind of fault that can produce earthquake and the diagram below to learn more about plate motion plate motion there are three kind of plate motion uh, boundary there are three kind of boundary transfer boundary convergent boundary and divergent boundary in transfer boundary there is six slip fault and horizontally mo movement of cross layer convergent boundary reserve fault divergent boundary normal fault transfer motion occurs when, where two plates slip past each other that means as you see one uh, side here another side here that means the uh, cross layer as you see here move horizontally Earthquake zone. Earthquake zone can happen both near Earth's surface or far below it. Most earthquakes happen in the earthquake zone. Along tectonic plate boundaries, earthquake zones are placed where a large number of faults are located. But not all faults are located at the tectonic plate. Boundary sometimes earthquakes happen along fault in the middle of tectonic plate. As you see, the, that line is earthquake line over here. There is not some here. All right. Converging motion uh, where two plates push together, as you see here, the cross layer push each other. What about divergent bound motion? As you see, they are moved in different direction uh, convergent motion create reserve fault blocks of crust that are pushed together slide along reserve fault divergent motion create normal fault block of crust that are pulled away uh, from each other slide along normal fault How do earthquake waves travel? Waves of energy that travel through the earth are called seismic waves. Seismic waves that travel through the earth's interior are called body waves. There are two types of body waves, T waves and S waves. Seismic waves that are travel along the earth's surface called surface waves. There are, as you know, there are two kinds of waves, S waves because of shape is called s wave p wave there are two kind of waves s wave and p wave table one showed the difference in the estimate effect of earthquake with the each increase of unit of magnetic now, let us check table one here effect of different size earthquake magnetic that means power of uh, earthquake s 
split of effect. Magnet 2 can be detected only by seismograph. In 3, power of Earth is 1, 3, can felt in epicenter. That means human, human being cannot understand earthquake. Number 4, magnet 4, can be felt by most people in area. Magnet 5, cause damage in epicenter. Magnet 6 can cause widespread damage. And magnet 7 can cause great widespread damage. There is another scale here. It's called Marsilia scale. There is 12 levels. Let me show you. Here, there are 12 levels, students. This one. Uh, there are 12 levels. First level here, this one, people don't feel any ground motion. That means when uh, earthquake happened, people cannot understand. Level 2, a few people may notice ground motion if they were resting. Level 3, a lot of people inside the building feel the motion from leaning of happening objects. Mo level 4, most People inside the building feel the motion from swinging and hanging objects, the clicking glass wave and rattling of windows or and doors. Five level five. Most people feel motion, sleeping personal wake up, door slam open and shut. So there is twelve level. Let me read for you last two level. Most buildings collapse, which are destroyed, big cracks appear in the earth. That means the earth crust breaks, so we can see those large breaks. Last level, level 12, almost everything is destroyed. Things are thrown into air. The earth wave moves like a wave. Masses of rock may move too. Let me show you one sample here. Can you see this one? The last level of earthquake. As you see, you can see the large hole in the earth. Can you see this one? The cities or road destroyed. It is not my, like normal earthquake. Please write everything in your notebook.